In this video, I'm going to show you a few websites that have an absolutely beautiful navigation. Hello, I'm your host Casino from Casino.com. I'm the Digital Alchemist and today we're going to talk about web design inspiration and how the navigation on your website can be an opportunity. You want something that's clean, simple and intuitive so that people can actually find what they're looking for without having any trouble navigating through your site. Okay, so let's get started and in no particular order, the first one we're going to review today is called We Will. And look at this beauty. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the 3D object here that we see. I'm talking about the overall impression. So first of all, the navigation is quite subtle because you don't really know, especially on a big screen, that this is the navigation. But you kind of know because it's always in that place. I mean, most of the time. So let me click on it. And this is, you're going to guess it, what I'm going to say. It's beautiful. I think it's really beautiful. So first of all, when you hover over the elements of the navigation on the left hand side you can see that there are slides reacting and if you can take a look you can see that some of the letters come from the ground up and the other letters come from the top down and then in the middle you have some objects and i think it it really works it's really beautiful now of course for i don't know a corporate website it's not gonna cut it even though you could be quite creative with it or even if it's not artistic, maybe it's just setting furniture, but classic furniture, that could work really well. So this is our mobile version. And of course here you can't hover over the elements, it would be a touch. But when you start dragging, just imagine that you start dragging here. If you use your fingers over the elements, then it's going to move the same way. And it works well, you know, before I tried the mobile version, I thought, hmm, what are they going to do? Because it was looking really beautiful on the desktop. But I was not expecting this here, so it's well done. Okay, next we have canals. So it took me some time to figure out that you had to scroll horizontally. Once again, today we're going to focus on the navigation and look at this beauty. Look at that. Now, if you ever wonder where is that cross where, uh, you know, you just want to close the navigation, well, here you can't miss it because it's gigantic. And in case you're wondering what I'm talking about, it's here in the top right corner. But <laughs> I hope you're kidding, right? I hope you saw that because it's so huge. But for the rest, I like the way the navigation closes and opens. I like the subtle animation with the delay. Now, once again, the big gigantic font can work fine. It's just a matter of personal preference. I don't like that font either, but I really like the colony here where there's the trigger for the navigation. Okay, so this is the mobile version. And once again, it took me some time to realize where the navigation was. I was like, there's something wrong. So I kept refreshing. Where's the navigation gone? Come on. And then, and then, come on, do it. So it doesn't do it all the time. Maybe that's because I'm just emulating the phone, but look at that. See, that's the issue it should be working okay now i have the navigation and that could be a, a problem that's why it's always okay nice with something looking really good and really fancy but if people are frustrated because they, they actually can't find the navigation and they can't go where they want to go that's not going to work so the opportunity here is to try to do to build something that's nice and functional next we have a site of the day from awards yes sir yes ma'am so we have furrow and from the get go, when you start moving the mouse, you can start playing and you know, you know how it is. You see this, you want to see the, the full thing. It's just like when we were kids and you start drawing and you know, you start coloring the sky, that kind of stuff. You want to draw the whole thing. Okay. I'm going to stop. I can stop. Yes. I'm going to stop. Okay. So let's take a look at the navigation. And the first thing that I love, I don't know if you saw that. So try to look at, in the top uh, right corner, the closer I get to the Navicon and boom, it snaps. So I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, I'm just moving it around and then boom, it snaps. And it feels like it's, um, you're playing. So first of all, we were scratching the image just to see the video and now it's really playful. And when you get that magnetic feeling, it's just like the MagSafe on your iPhone or on your iMac or <laughs> maybe you're not a Mac person, but you know that magnetic feeling when something clicks 
and I think it's uh, it's really well executed. And now let's look at this. So first of all, it's beautiful, and then they put some video in the background, but it loads so fast. So in my opinion, they were preloading the assets while I was um, well, while you're on the home page before you open the navigation. But still, it goes really really fast. When I hover over the element, it goes like that. It's really snappy, there's no lag. And the image is good actually. Look, the quality of the image is really good. You know, most of the time when people try to use video in navigation, I'm not really a fan of it. Here it works quite well, I must say. So I'm quite impressed. And also you only see the videos when you're hovering over the element because if I go back to the red side on the left hand side, then it goes all red. So you can focus on the navigation and that's what I like. Because video is nice, but what you don't want is people to be disturbed when they're trying to find information on the website and then they're just looking at the videos and then, you know, they don't get to do what they came there to do. Okay, so now let's take a look at the mobile navigation. And here, of course, we can hover over elements, but we can drag. Look at that. <laughs> so I get to play one more time. I get to play again. Look at this. Okay, so here let me see so you don't get the snappy feeling but you know that kind of makes sense because we're on touch but for the rest very nice experience from the get-go and let me open this that looks really good and it kind of makes sense that you don't have video here it looks really good it looks really clean you can easily access the navigation even in the mobile mode and it's kind of subtle and it's it just looks good it's just good when there's good design it's just good design Okay, next we have this one here that's got some video background. It also has the custom pointer. And let's take a look at the navigation. Okay, so I thought this one was quite original because it looks kind of simple, even though it's very well executed. I like because it's, uh, it's bold, but the typography, I think it's nice. It's really modern. And I don't know if you can see here on the left-hand side, you can see like less than an inch of video on the left hand side. So it kind of gives you a hint that something something is going on behind, but it doesn't disturb you as much as some other systems or some other solutions. So I thought that was, um, that was quite original. Now, one thing I don't really understand, um, and I know I've done it for clients because most of the clients, they want that. Why do we put social media here? I mean, this is the navigation of your website. So you want people to stay, right? You don't want them to actually go. I'm not saying it's bad to go there. I'm just saying when people have finally come to your website, don't send them right away in the social media jungle. Kind of makes sense for me. Let me know what you think. I have no issue with sharing social media. I'm just saying keep people on your website first. Okay, so now let's take a look at the mobile version. And first of all, I know it's not the navigation, but this is symmetrical and I love it. Because I kind of hate asymmetrical design. Well, some asymmetrical design is really well done, and I've talked about it here on this channel. But this here, symmetrical. I like the little lines on the top and the bottom. I think it's really clean, as clean can be. So first of all, we have the hamburger icon with two lines, and I love that. Actually, use that on a lot of my designs. I love the two lines design for the icon. For the rest, it's really consistent. The good thing is that you can easily find where to shut off the sound, the music, but still, in my opinion, it shouldn't start automatically in the first place. But yeah, for the rest, it's really nice. The visual hierarchy also, it's well executed in my opinion. I think it, it just works well. Now, same remark that I did for the social media here, uh, just in a small format. But for the rest, yeah, clean. Okay, next we have Wannabe. So first of all, I was intrigued because, well, first of all, usually the navigation will be on the right-hand side or, I mean, this type of nav navigation with the hamburger icon, it would be either on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. Here it was in the middle. And then you have this sign that says, no, don't, don't touch me, don't click. No, you can't, you can't. And of course, what do you do when someone tells you you can't click on that button? You want to click on it, right? So here we have the same um situation we saw earlier on another website where the closer you get to that bubble here and then it's just gonna snap on it and then here this one's a bit different because it's gonna move with your movement 
So it's really playful and it makes you just want to click that damn thing. So let me click on it. And just like the other one, one of the other websites we saw earlier, there's a big gigantic mark here if you want to close the navigation. So if you're trying to say, how do you close this navigation? And you're a liar. You're officially a liar because with this big giant button, there's no way you don't know what to do. Okay, for the rest, the visual hierarchy works quite well. I really dig what I see here. And I love that gigantic button. So what I want to do is just, you know, go back and just click on it. Put the fun back into web design. Okay, so let's take a look at the mobile version. So let's click on the navigation. And here, as you can see, the movement is different. So on the desktop, the movement was like this. And then on the mobile version, it goes like this. Kind of makes sense, but it's the subtle little details that I quite enjoy. So once again, let's close it and let's open it again. And you see the movement I was talking about. Now, as you can see, it looks like the fonts have been cut. Maybe it's on purpose, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's a visual bug, so probably something easily fixable. But for the rest, it works well. Once again, there aren't that many elements in the navigation, so it works well with big, bold fonts. I love taking a look at other people's work because I love to get inspired, and web design has to be fun, has to be creative, and that's how you start. And by the way, if you want to create a killer brand identity for yourself or for your clients, I created a free brand identity guidelines that you can download on my website for free. Initially, it was made for Affinity Designer, but you can use it with Adobe Illustrator with a workaround. So if you are interested, just go to casina.com forward slash branding and follow the instructions on screen. Now, if you love web design as much as I do, and if you got any inspiration from this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really, really, really helps grow the channel. And for you, it's just going to take you a split second and it's totally free. Now, if you want more videos about web design, if you want to become a better web designer or maybe share your tips with the rest of the community, make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. On this channel, I love to share stuff that I've learned, tips and tricks that can make you go a little bit faster and have more fun along the way. So if you want to grow as a website creator, make sure you take a look at the videos appearing on screen right now. I create videos that I wish I had when I got started. So I'll see you in the next one. And until then, take care and stay safe.